Hey y'all, this is Audra Hicks, your Tennessee Realtor. I wanted to give y'all some tips on what to do whenever you're under contract and fixing a close on your home. So please hit that subscribe button and stay tuned because I put the real in real estate. So whenever you are under contract and fixing to be closing on your home, there are some things that I as an agent try to remind you to do ahead of time before we close on that home. One is things to do before closing right now. Um, call all the utilities. Um, I will either get it for you or um, or my um client says coordinator or transaction coordinator will uh, email you with who the utilities are. We'll get that from the other side and make sure who the utilities are so that you can make sure you call them ahead of time to see what you need to do or provide to them in order to get your electric, your water, um, any gas utilities, uh, all of that turned on in your name on closing day because usually that's when the seller is going to unless there's been some other arrangements usually that's when the seller is going to have theirs cut off so instead of having to pay a reconnection fee usually they usually do it right at the same time and uh <clears throat> you can get it all turned on in your name um also you need to call the trash company or find one if it's a rural area and you know you need to find your own um and your internet provider go ahead and get all that set up or ready to go for when you close on the home so uh sometimes you might need the settlement statement or alta that you had signed uh at closing to take with you to go and get the electric in some cities around here um that you have to go and show proof that you actually own the home after closing. Some don't make you do that, but some do. Some may have deposits that you have to put down. Um, you know, if you have really good credit, most of the time you don't have to put a deposit down. Uh, so I've heard that from clients. I know for us, we didn't have to because we had excellent credit when we moved here nine years ago. So, uh, so that's what you want to do before closing. Uh, get all that set up and ready to go. <clears throat> also, day of closing, we want, I want my clients to go ahead, either have all the, the door locks changed um, and or go ahead and have them changed out to your keyless entry. That's a good time to do it because you never know the seller, not saying the seller's going to come back on you, but they may have given that key out to contractors over time. You just never know who has that key. So, you know, um, you need to make sure that you have peace of mind in doing that. Also, make sure that you do your garage door opener as well. A lot of times they already have it programmed into their car. They didn't unprogram that from their car. So they could drive by at any time and press that button and your garage door comes up. So go ahead and change the frequency. Put it into your car, truck, whatever you may have. Um, and change all of your uh, garage door openers um, and your code also. If there's a keyless entry pad on the outside, go ahead and change everything <clears throat> to your your digits that you want to change it to. Um, um, there may be ring doorbells or home automation and stuff. Uh, could be alarm system. All of that needs to be taken out of that seller's name. Deregister it so that you can re-register it if you want to in your name. So ahead of time we we try to get all of that done too um <clears throat> so now's a good time after closing you can you can go buy that furniture after you've closed on the house that you have put on hold or waited for uh and did not put on a credit card and did not have another credit inquiry or anything like that or open credit at the furniture store before you bought the home because I know I tell you not to do that and I have you sign off that you, I told you not to do that. Uh, <clears throat> so my clients tell me all the time, just so you know, I didn't buy the furniture, but I did go to BF Myers where you uh, uh, wanted me to go check furniture out and I have got some things waiting 
uh, until closing. So, <laughs> so they do that all the time. <clears throat> Now's the great time while the house is empty to go ahead and change your air filters. Make sure what the sizes are, change them out. Um, you want to go ahead and have it thoroughly cleaned from top to bottom if you're going to do it or hire somebody. Now's a great time to do that. Also get your uh, lawn care and, um, you know, who's going to mow your yard um, or if you're going to do it, you know, go ahead and get that all set up and um, do that. And, and then also now's the best time to clean from top to bottom and the carpet and flooring as well. So if you're going to replace it, I would do it now. If you're going to paint, I would do it now before you ever move into that home. Because guess what? You're going to move into that home and you're going to say, hey, I've got so much to do uh, and get your life in order and stuff that you're going to not want to paint after you're already in there unless you have to later. Uh, so if you have the funds and you're wanting to replace the flooring, now would be the perfect time before you move into that home. Some clients are having to move in pretty quickly, so they are going to do what they have to do at first to do that and then do it later. Um, but now's the time to do that as well. So um, I think I went over it. I wrote down everything. So, um, oh, and um Ahead of time, go ahead and measure for your blinds. If there are no blinds there or draperies or anything, go ahead and measure so that you can get those whenever you close as well. Uh, so that's kind of a little bit of things that you'll want to do uh, before before closing and just right after closing. So as soon as I give you that key and you can have access to that home, then uh, usually the moving truck's ready to go or some, like the one yesterday I just closed, she's not moving in for about a week because she was going to, but then it, it happens to be Easter weekend and she's got friends in town. So she's not even moving in at that time. So, or when she thought she was going to. So um, <clears throat> she has some time to get some things done. That's great. Um, so um, that's just a little bit of things that you need to do, to do ahead of time. I know when you're in the lending process, you already have um, your insurance set up and it changes day of closing. It starts the day of closing to you, um, you know, HOA, things like that. Um, so uh, hopefully this has helped you some. And uh, if it has, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share and like with your family and friends. And I'll see y'all next time. Thank y'all. Bye.